Are you home? I'm... I'm in here! You stupid bitch! I told you to check the camera before we started! <sighs> hey, cool it! We still got some good footage there. Yeah, but the fucking camera died before she did! I'm not the only one living here, you know. You could have checked it too. Did you? Did you? All right, all right. Let's try to salvage what we've got. Not sure if we've got enough footage to finish the project, but let's try and stay optimistic, shall we? Here, dear. Pass me the soap and the... Uh, that scrubber thingy. My nails are just filthy. Who would have thought such a little thing like that would put up such a fight? Even with her arms tied behind her back, she almost knocked you out. Very, very funny, dickhead. That bitch nearly gave me a fucking bruise, and you know how I hate fucking bruises! Unless they're yours. Aw, Jane, you're such a romantic suck sometimes, but I love you for it. So I have to clean up, though. Sorry I had to take off like that, but... Ever since Rolando did that morning show, he's been solid for weeks at a time. No problem. You did a great job this time. Your hair's damn near perfect. That fucking rug. Had to burn it. Just stains wouldn't come clean this time. I like this stuff. My grandmother gave it to me. Hey, I did what I could. Steam cleaned it, used that powdered shit, vacuumed it twice. No, three fucking times! Damn stains just wouldn't budge. And it's not like we can have somebody in with a pro machine. Duh. Yeah, yourself. You got a hair sticking out between your teeth. Give me a mirror now! Damn blonde. She has like a goddamn long haired pussy cat. Yeah, but you don't need long haired cats now, do you, honey? Very funny. And, by the way, what's that sticking out of your back pocket? Uh, nothing. Just a little souvenir. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Oh, you're a real barrel of laughs today, aren't you, Jane? How's about we talk about your little souvenir collection, eh? Don't be crude! I don't think you were raised to ask a lady questions like that. Sorry, really. Not feeling too well today. How come, honey? Uh, I think I'm gonna re-pull that muscle. The other one was fucking heavy. A cute and a pudgy baby sort of way. Yeah, cute all right. But Christ, I almost tore my back out getting her back into the trunk. What do you mean, getting her back into the trunk? Hey, I'm really fucking careful, alright? I'm not fucking stupid, you know. Easy, baby. Just tell mommy what happened to her, the pookie bear. Well, it was going really well. I'd gone to the spot where we always go, checked the mirror all the time, as per usual. Nobody was following me. Nobody! So I turn off onto the little side road. Beautiful spot. Yeah. I'd gotten out of the car, just about to put my keys in the trunk lock. Bam! There's fucking nowhere here. Hey, you, you there. Long story short, was a fucking lost hunter. Our favorite spot is ruined. Now we're gonna have more surgery. You're always overreacting. Okay, the spot's history. But we can always find another spot. But surgery? Again? Your last hit still hasn't healed yet. Get real. Get real? He saw my face! Like anyone would remember? Just kidding. Just kidding, baby beauty. Mummy loves that precious face. You know Mummy does. Come oh, here. I'm sorry, too. Daddykins shouldn't yell at Mummykins. You know, maybe you're right. Bit of a dye job, change the eyebrows a bit. Maybe a little dental work. You know, I can always try wearing glasses again. It's amazing how little it takes to change the real you. You always look 
so cute in glasses. I love it. I know. How about you wear your glasses? Now smash them into your face and grind my fist to your bleeding mashed up lips and suck your blood. Spit it back at you. Wouldn't you like that? You really know how to turn a guy on, don't you? Ah, uh, no, it's for fun just now, Pookie Bear. Got some other business to take care of. Not that film guy again. Yeah, him. It's a pain. Doesn't understand. No, at all. Tell me about it. But you gotta admit, he does have a lot of friends with a shitload of money. Some people. Fucking idiots. Paying us all that for something we just give away. Un. Fucking, fucking believable. believable. Hey, watch your mouth and no more treats. You wouldn't. See if I don't. But it's not fair. You don't even like those parts. <gasps> <laughs> fucking asshole. You fucking asshole. Look what you've done to my hair. <laughs> Sorry. I'm really, really, really sorry, Pookie. Honest, Pookie, I was just messing with you. I didn't mean to upset you. Rolanda owes me a favor. You can go tomorrow if you want. He owes me a big favor. I'll call him right now. Ten forty five tomorrow morning, okay? Mm, a little early, but okay. Thanks, honey. You're so sweet sometimes. <gasps> okay, you're sweet all the time. Where are you, Dick? What? Oh, nowhere special, really. I was just thinking of our first real date. Man, that was so cool. You were so wild and charged. Are you saying I'm not anymore? Oh, baby, you're better than ever. First time's always special. I'm not saying it's the best. Every time with you is the best. Is it a high school dance? Nah, college dance. Big last dance night at my college. Guys in penguin suits, girls in those funny looking expensive gowns, men spiking their girlfriend strings, hoping they get laid and hoping nobody finds out. <laughs> I remember. I was visiting my aunt, the only aunt with any money in the family. I hitched a ride into town and got dropped off near the college. I saw all the lights and figured 
What the heck? There might be some action here after all. Whatever. Everyone was all dressed up. And there I was. In my best t-shirt and jeans. Then I saw you. You kind of look lost. Like you didn't want to be there. Or you didn't know where you were. Didn't have a date. Ditch cancelled at the last minute. Hanging around outside, taking a few shots of liquid courage, trying to decide whether I wanted to be or not. Then I look across the street and I see this beautiful bitch getting out of the car. And I thought, what the hell? And the rest, as they say, is history. It was fate. <laughs> it was fatal. <clears throat> um, it was fate, definitely. Definitely. I mean, what are the odds of you and I meeting like that? What kind of makes you believe in God? Almost. I don't like to think about it too much, Pookie. I get scared when I think about it. Like, you may have never met me, and I may have never have met you. Easy, baby. It's okay to be scared. But we did meet, and we are together. Pass me that dry cloth, please. Sure. Thanks, Pookie. I must look a fucking mess. Nah, you're always beautiful to me, bitch. Fuck you too, shit eater! <laughs> it's right. So what's up for tonight? Hmm, how about a quiet evening in for a change? This afternoon really tore me up. <laughs> tore who up? Alright, alright. Point one to the bitch. Can't take no more. I'm still sore. Hey, I'm a poet! <laughs> and nobody knows it. So what do you want to do? Well, we do have a lot of movies we've never actually watched. Could be fun. Popcorn. And fizzy mineral water. With lemon. With lime. With Little Umbrellas! And splash rubber coasters! On Comet on Cupid! On Auschwitz and Belsen! Hey, watch it there! My gran was a Jew! Oh, sorry. No offense, man. Honest, Pookie Bear. None taken this time. Can you scrub my back for me? Some for later, okay? Just because you got yours off twice today, maybe the rest of us would like some too. Jealous, are we? Man, can't live with him, can't shoot him. Now listen here, Calamity. If we men had as many holes to fill as you here females, we'd be right happy all the time too, yes siree? Enough. Give me your hand. No, the other one. No, the other one. No, the other one. Sorry, forgot it in the basement. Bastard! I don't leave your favorite things lying around all over the place. Jane, I said I was sorry. Do I have to prove to you how sorry I really am? Well, sugar, you don't have nothing to prove to me, big hunk of a man, you. Come here and caress my golden garden of pleasure. So, 
boobies are okay? I don't know. Are you sure you wouldn't rather play Pharaoh and the Dead Queen? Nah, not right now. I'm kind of tired and, you know, if I can't do something well, I don't want to do it at all. Tell me about it. What was that? Nothing, sugar pie. Guess it's movie time with Dick and James. I love you, baby. I love you, too. <laughs> It's over.